Mexico we face this problem of low human capital formation and that obviously affects the possibility of Mexico to improve their productivity and have better conditions, economic and social conditions for the society. So one way to track and measure this low human capital formation was looking at different standardized assessments. In Mexico, kids in elementary school have been performing low in this kind of assessments. The students are not learning in an effective way. But one specific and particular hypothesis of why it's happening is that the time spent at schools in Mexico, in elementary schools, is not enough to develop skills in students. So they are trying to add two or four more hours at schools. It makes the school day six or eight hours per day. In 2007, they pushed this program, the full-time school program, in 15 states. And then now up to 2014, it's already in 31 states and the district. I took one state in the center, the name is Morelos. I found a second state that never implemented the program before 2013. With these two states, I started running my models and my regressions. When I was looking at six graders, it seems that there is a positive mode of effect size. And that's good because it seems that it's at least in sixth grade there is having an effect. So that proved my hypothesis that it's good to increase the time at school. The information, the availability, make me also look at fifth graders, fourth graders and third graders. And what I found there is that it seems that the effect is going down. So to better allocate resources, maybe it's, it makes much more sense just to use the program in sixth grade or fifth grade because it seems that the effect of the, of the program is better there. It's so important to have more research, different by curriculum, by ages, by, by grades. Before coming to Duke, I was working for the government. I worked for the Ministry of Education. And then I had the opportunity to move to the Mexican presidency. And I was working for the social cabinet there. I hear about Duke, I hear about this program. Because in my university, I had a professor that actually did his PhD here. So I went to the website, to the um, curriculum and classes, and I, I found it very, very interesting with a lot of flexibility because I wanted to focus on educational policies but at the same time look at other areas of evaluation but also finance, public finance. I was able to create my own path given my, my background and given my, my future goals. I think in Mexico there is like a political willingness to really improve the quality of education and I think it's like a very interesting and a challenging arena for public policy. So I, I was just committed with those challenges and I found that there are like good areas, opportunity areas to push hard to have more quality of education and better conditions for kids.